It's heat one in the second annual United Way bus poll as 12 teams compete for the coveted Community Cup. The city of Kelowna won this last year and they brought a bunch of guys from the utilities department to defend their title. I think the times get a little slower as you go. I think your first one is probably your best one, but we'll soon find out. The idea here is to pull a 24,000 pound bus 60 feet. The eight fastest times will advance to the quarterfinals. The teams and sponsors have already raised nearly 14 grand for the United Way of the Central and South Okanagan and Similkameen, even before one bus pull attempt. What's raised here stays here. That's very important for everybody to understand. We have teams that are both not-for-profits in our community that have put in a team. We have corporates. We have some groups that have just brought in mothers and brothers and sons and uncles. And, and uh, the whole idea is just to come out and have some fun and raise some money for community. Is it easy for you to get a team from the bank? Uh, yeah, it is, actually. We had over 40 participants that uh, volunteered. We've got lots of support. BMO's always been a good supporter of United Way, and so we want to continue that tradition. It's a good cause. United Way is something that we should all be helping out with. That's why we're all here. While it's an advantage to have some muscle in the lineup, there is a strategy to first get the bus rolling and then getting it moving briskly. Heaviest guy at the front on the rope, another heavy guy right in front of the bus, and then you just plug the middle. If you pull this way and then you just turn and start to run, you get a little bit better uh, results. If we don't turn, we're going to end up falling on top of each other, have a big dog pile. So turns into a run after the, the initial torque, right? We brought out more uh, more of the young guys this year, so hopefully that helps in the later rounds. Like fresh out of law school? or A uh, year or two out of law school, yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit of speed too, right? Because the big guys are good out of the gate, but you slow down at the end, right? So we'll see if we got the right combination. After the quarters, the teams get a break, while strongman Noah Normandale attempts to pull a bus by himself. A few passengers who paid 100 bucks have also been added. <laughs> successful last year. Noah had trouble getting a good grip on the ground this year. I didn't get as much traction. My boots were given out on the concrete and I just couldn't get the most amount of power I have into forward thrust. And then after a five or ten second burst like that, you start burning out. And after the second one, I strained my left calf. So kind of the way it goes. Noah was the single largest fundraiser with over $1,400 raised. Back to the race now, and we are down to the semifinals. So we got Total Restoration, Pusher Mitchell, City of Kelowna, and PCO. Oh, Dave, geez, you guys look pretty good now. You look like you might be making the finals. Well, I think I'm a little bit tired, but you know what? That is so much fun. We're excited to go against the City of Kelowna. Look out, Kelowna. The other semi was as close as it gets. The defending champs win by 17 one hundredths of a second to set up a final with total restoration. Now it's just a case of who on short rest gets across the finish line first. Last year I wasn't on the team so I think it was this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, it was uh, pretty fun. Good uh, sportsmanship. It's just nice to uh, give back and support the community and programs in the community when you can. You guys going to come back next year and defend your title? Oh, I believe so, yeah. Darn it all, you know. I thought we had our boys, but sometimes it just doesn't work the way you want it to. But you know what? More than anything, United Way is the ones that are the winners here. So we're really happy to be part of this.